Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the Best Damn EDC, and it's time for another EDC Weekly. A couple of weeks ago, I asked you guys to share your new gear, stuff you got over the holidays, some things you've added to yourself, or whether they were gifts, whatever, doesn't really matter. Um, there weren't a ton of submissions this time around, so I need you guys to keep submitting. Go to edcw.co or bestmedc.com forward slash submit. I'm gonna be doing monthly giveaways. There was no giveaway in December, um, and I haven't chosen the giveaway winner for November. There's a little bit of lag there. I'm waiting on something to happen, but I will choose the November winner. And from December, I'll just roll all those entries over into uh, January, February giveaway. I'll do a little bit of a bigger thing for that. But um, a lot of stuff in flux right now, so just bear with me. Uh, we are working on a few things behind the scenes. But that aside, this is the New Year New Gear episode of the EDC Weekly. And with that said, let's do the damn thing. Before I forget, and before we go any further, I just wanna say next week is gonna be a budget EDC weekly. We've not done that in a long time. So submit your best budget carry over at edcw.co for a chance to be featured in the show, but also to be entered into the January giveaway. I wanna keep this one short and sweet, so only five features this week. This first one comes from Tord Larson or northerner.edc over on Instagram. For starters, the photo's just really nice. It's a, a really well composed photo, and the focus here is obviously on the knives, but you can see some other gear that he carries as well in the background, and that's, that's kind of why I like this. He's putting the emphasis on the new gear, uh, but. The rest of the stuff's still there. Anyway, first up on the photo in the top right is the Urban EDC Supply F5.5. That's a Vox Design knife in micarta. He also has beneath that a Benchmade Mini Crooked River, uh, just the standard version it seems like. And then in the bottom of the photo in the, in the background, you see a Smith's Leather Balm shop rag, a Hitch and Timber Hitch Wallet, and then the Faro EDC Faro Nuck, as well as his boots, which he does not mention. Uh, he also says, I'm looking for a sweet slip joint with some sort of wood or bone scales. Got any good recommendations? He also says, I just got these two knives in the mail. Been looking for a good while for these two, and I'm grateful to have them in my collection and rotation. The Mini Crooked River was the knife that got me interested in EDC, and that opened my eyes to the world of awesome makers around the world. And of course, Slim's the wallet from time to time. I appreciate all you do in the content you create. Greetings from the Lofoten, Lofoten Islands, Norway. Probably slaughtered that. But the Mini Crooked River was one that really was a little bit of a catalyst for me too. Um, I got it way back when. It was one of those that I just bought from the Discord server, but I absolutely loved that knife. That was one that I saw going into REI all the time, and it was just one that kept catching my eye. It's a, it's a really good looking knife. Very traditional, modern traditional, I guess, but uh, yeah, really cool. And I, I got the large Crooked River, the full sized, when I did the um, the REI video, and uh, that was a tank of a knife, it's huge. Uh, but the F5.5 is just a fantastic knife, and it looks so good in my Carta. So as for a slip joint for you, Tord, it's it's really hard. There's a lot of slip joint makers, um, and, and you can go with a custom that's not wildly expensive, and I think that's probably one of the cooler ways to go. But if you want something that's just maybe a little bit easier to find, I'd go with a great Eastern color. You can find them on secondary, but you're gonna you're gonna spend pretty coin for, for GEC just because of the way that they do things. These limited drops and secondary pricing gets inflated. All the good slip joints that you're really gonna find are gonna be a little bit harder to acquire or they're gonna have to be commissioned, but uh, that's what I would recommend. And if you're really interested in trying to figure out which way you should go, I would definitely recommend the Discord server because they are far more knowledgeable on slip joints than I am. I only have a couple because I typically prefer modern folders. Hope that helps. Cool gear, thanks for sharing and I'm glad you got to add these to your, your carry as well because I'm sure getting these in Norway is not nearly as easy as it is here in the US. I am positive of that. So thanks for sharing. Glad you could add some cool stuff to your collection and uh, you have an entry into the next giveaway. The next mission comes from Shelby Puckett. You can find them over on Instagram at Shelby Puckett underscore YT official or in the Discord as PucketKid04. This one, they just got a lot of really cool gifts. They have uh, a lot of people that love them, apparently. In the photo in the top right, there's the Ole i3T EOS. Next to that is the knife, the Wee Banter in OD Green. The Hank underneath both of those is the awesome Hank Gear Harry Potter Hank. And then the wallet that you see here is the Dango M1 Bifold wallet that has been customized. 
And the watch that you see is the Garmin and Marvel Special Edition First Avenger smartwatch. Shelby says, I'm looking at getting the big Ida Design Mini Click in Stonewash Titanium. Do you have an opinion of that pen? I prefer smaller pens for EDC and I love the big Ida Design pens. Uh, I really like the mini pins, especially the mini click because they have the pocket clip. Um, I think it's a really good pin. If you don't like that type of refill, then you're not gonna like that pin. But if you can, you know, if you like that, the, I think they're called D2 refills. Uh, I don't mind them at all. And I really like the pin because it just disappears. The two that I've been carrying the most recently is uh, the Big Idea Design mini click and the Silex Gear jet pin mainly because they both take up so little space when retracted. This one obviously, you know, shoots out and is much larger, but they're both great and they're both big enough to write with comfortably for me. Shelby also says, uh, OLED was a gift received from my aunt and uncle for Christmas. I absolutely love the flashlight and use it every day. The Wee Banter in OD, I bought this one at Smoky Mountain Knifeworks this past fall and has found my, its way into my carry almost every day. It's a perfect little knife to carry daily. Dango no longer has the bifold attachment and it fits better in my pocket now. I'm currently working on my build out videos showing what parts I've got to make it mine. Garmin is not a cheap watch, but it's really awesome. I needed to get a new Garmin. My Forerunner 235 died on me, so I knew I wanted another one. This one is one of my favorite watches that I own. The flashlight, Hank, and wallet were all gifts from different people, and they all mean something different to me. The wallet was given to me by my dad, the Hank for my mom and dad for Christmas, and the flashlight for my aunt and uncle. Definitely a special carry today, as it's my mom's birthday, January 12th. But yeah, it, it's really cool that when, when people can learn what you're interested in and into and buy you things in that hobby and not get you stuff that you don't actually want, right? Um, not to be ungrateful, it's just, when you're deep into a hobby like this, I've said it a million times, when you're deep into a hobby like this, buying somebody a gift that's really deep into it, uh, it's risky business because they may already have it, may really not like that item, and then they have to be grateful for something they really don't actually like. Uh, EDC gear is very personal, so uh, it's cool that they could get you stuff that you really actually wanted and uh, care enough to, to put in the effort to find the things you really want. It's really cool. So thank you for sharing. You now have a second entry in the giveaway. But before we go any further, I wanna thank our sponsor for this video, Big Idea Design. Big Idea Design specializes in making really compact and useful titanium pocket tools, like one of my favorite pieces of EDC gear period, the TPT slide, a pocket-friendly titanium utility knife, they also make really handy pocket screwdrivers that store bits in the handle and have pocket clips, like the everyday screwdriver and bit bar inline. Big Idea Design also specialize in making highly adaptable everyday pins that work with dozens of different refills, like the Pocket Pro, TI Click EDC, and the newest, the Bolt Action, which is now available for purchase on their site. But my favorite pins from Big Idea Design are their line of much smaller pins like the Mini Pin, Mini Click, and the new Mini Bolt Action, which trade broad refill compatibility for extreme portability. To learn more about what Big Idea Design has to offer, click the link in the description down below and use coupon code CARRYON at checkout for 10% off your purchase and to help support the show. And once again, I want to thank Big Idea Design for sponsoring this video. The next mission comes from Brett or 37 underscore Ravens underscore EDC on Instagram or Brettness37 in the Discord. In this photo, we have a Lynch Northwest All Access Pass from Thunderbird Gear. There's also a big Idea Design bolt action pin. And the watch that you see in the middle of the photo is the Casio Oceanus. And then the two other things you have here are a Giant Mouse Riv, that is the knife that is in my Carta, and a Raylight Pineapple Mini sitting on top of that. And then underneath everything is the Renegade EDC handkerchief. Brett says, these items are all new to my collection in the last six weeks or so. The knife, watch, and hank are all gifts from my spouse for Christmas and my birthday. The watch in particular was a huge surprise. She must've been caught me watching reviews and imported it from Japan to knock it out of the park on my birthday. That is really cool. Goes back to what I was just saying. When somebody can care enough about you to really do their research and digging and get you what you really truly want, that's cool. My focus on EDC so far has mostly been about budget gear that punches above its price point. So this setup is pretty high end for me. Now all of that stuff punches up still. So even if it's not all super budget gear anymore, it's still punching above its weight, which is really cool. Uh, especially that Oceanus. Um, those are really, really nice watches for the money. And uh, I haven't had an Ace Riv, but it, I've not had really any designs from Giant Mouse or Yin Zanso or Jesper Voxnes that I haven't loved. So uh, really, really cool carry. And that is really nice of your wife. Um, Alex would never, ever do that for me because she's like, all watches look the same. I don't understand why you need more than one. 
um, which is gonna be fun because next week I'm gonna have her in here. We're making a video together, uh, going to, going through some of my gear. So uh, should be fun. <laughs> anyway, thank you for sharing, Brett, and. Uh, Congrats on really cool presents and happy belated birthday. The next submission comes from Roger Griss, who you can find on Instagram at Sasquatch2 or in Discord as Roger1877. So this one is stepping it up quite a bit in all facets. The very first thing listed here is a Rolex Submariner, no date, 41 millimeter, reference 124060. Next to that is a uh, Brian Felholter Tybolt G2 AFK engraved with an aftermarket Zercuti clip with AFK Chaos stamps all over it. Don't wanna know what that cost. Uh, the flashlight that you see in the top left is an Okluma DC0 in titanium. And then the little NUC tool that you see there is a Starco 8-bit in titanium, a TI hybrid Scooby Loop bead mounted, carried in a custom shell Cordovan uh, York slip. And then there's an Atlas Creation Super Mario Hank under that. And then the knife you see in the bottom right is the JB Stout Blood and Thunder V3. TI milled scales and gold D2 blade. He says he's looking for more exclusive NUX. Can't help you there. I'm not deep into the pocket trash realm. Um, he also says, I've been trying to get a Starco 8-bit for a while. Happy to finally add it to the collection. Stout knives are really growing on me lately. High quality custom knives that are also rugged tools. Yeah, he's got some really, really nice designs. And uh, I think eventually I'll have a JB Stout. But for now, my collection is uh, too big. So I'm gonna be going through and purging some of my stuff, but maybe after the purge, might upgrade and get a one or two really nice knives and JB Stout might be on that list. We'll see, not sure, haven't thought it through, but uh, it's a really cool list. Uh, it took me a second to figure out what the Starco 8-bit is. I, I cannot keep up with the pocket trash game. Like it's just, there's too much stuff and uh, I'm not in on the Nux that deep. So, but that, that Rolex, really nice. The pen, uh, again, like I said, I don't want to know what that cost. AFK stuff is pretty expensive secondary, so if you didn't get this uh, firsthand, then you probably paid a pretty penny for it, especially with the Zercuti clip, and it's also just a fell holder to begin with. So my guess is somewhere like between seven and 1200 bucks. That's a big range, but I know it's at least somewhere in there, if not above and beyond. So, wow, thank you for sharing. You now have a second entry into the giveaway. The fifth and final submission comes from David Robertson, or Bama over in the Discord, and uh, a lot of stuff here, so let's just get to it. First up in the photo, the bottom left is the Zelos Horizons Frost Watch. Uh, he also has a Redeem Creations notebook wallet under that, and then above it is the Jeremy Sires Brass Zippo. The pin tucked into the wallet is the Grimsmo Saga number 918, and then to the right of that is a Chris Reeves Small Sabinza uh, 31. He also has a Siesta Keycraft and Tool Channel Tungsten Ring. He also has a Northeast Oddities UPO, as well as a Starlinger Howler bead attached to that. He has a Great Eastern Cutlery number 43 in Natural Micarta and Glizzy Shield. And there's also a Raylite Pineapple Mini in Brass. He has a Burnley Cypop Royal Contra in Jade, G10, and Black Titanium, as well as a Sinister EDC Diablo Nuck in Westinghouse Micarta with matching bead. There's a blue Leatherman PS4 as well, and then underneath everything is an Atlas Creations flannel and microfiber hank. So fun fact, that Sabenza 31 was actually mine. That Inkosi that I have that I've talked about a lot with that glass bead finish, um, we traded. And I hope you're enjoying that Sabenza. It's a nice knife, but I just never, ever carried it. I want just a plain TI Sabenza instead of inlays. Just, uh, I love my Carta, but just want a plain Sabenza. Anyway, uh, Bama says, I could use some help taking better pictures. Well, uh, I've thought about for a long time doing a video on how to take better EDC photos, but then again, um, photos aren't the whole reason people do this whole EDC thing. So I, I don't know. I wasn't sure if it would land that I haven't done it, but maybe I've been doing a little more tutorial based stuff. So maybe we'll do photos. I'm just not really a photography expert by any means. I have a buddy who is. Maybe we can get Peter to do a video with us on how to take better EDC photos. Maybe, we'll see. And then Bama also says, here's the new and improved carry. I've acquired a couple of new items over the past week or two. John from CS Keycraft hooked me up with a custom wedding band that features all that stuff that I could not say, uh, which can only be found. So Lapiz Lazuli, Lazuli, Lapiz Lazuli, which can only be found in Afghanistan, where I did a tour a couple of years ago. The flannel hank I just recently purchased from Rue helps me clean my glasses. The Starlinger Howler bead is my first high-end bead. 
By the way, I thank Kanzi for turning me onto them. The Psypop and Sinister EDC Diablo are new purchases as well. The most recent piece of gear is the Great Eastern Cutlery 43 I bought from Murdoch in the Discord. I always seem to find what I need in the Discord. Anyway, keep up the awesome content and happy 2022. Likewise, uh, thanks for being an awesome member in the community. But yes, you're right. I, there's so much good stuff in the Discord. I get so many questions about where you should buy and sell EDC gear. There, there are lots of places like bladeforms.com, uh, knife swap on Reddit, and uh, there's also EDC exchange on Reddit, but the Discord is where I do all of my buying and selling of all EDC gear. That's just where I do it. It's the easiest, and I have rapport with a lot of the people there, so it just it makes a lot of sense, and there's a lot of stuff to be found there. So if you're interested in buying secondhand gear, consider that. Anyway, thank you for sharing Bama. Glad you could add some of this cool stuff to your carry. I'm kind of jealous of that great Eastern cutlery, not gonna lie. Anyway, thank you for sharing. You now have a second entry in the giveaway. Thank you all for sharing. Continue to do so. Go to bestmedc.com forward slash submit or edcw.co and submit there. If you do, you're entered into a giveaway. If you're featured in one of the videos on Instagram or anywhere else, you'll get a second entry into the giveaway and uh, we'll be ramping all of this stuff up. The giveaways, the, the EDC weeklies, everything in 2022. Lots of big plans and uh, I'm excited for it. I think you guys are gonna like it. And uh, let's talk more show. Let's, let's do this more. Let's do it more often, more frequently. Uh, anyway, thanks again, guys. Everything you saw in this video will be linked below. Those are affiliate links that help support what I'm doing here. You can also go to Patreon if you would like to support there. But with that said, and until next time, carry on.